Hey guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new. My name is Megan. If you've seen either of my last two videos, you know that I am currently pregnant. I actually just hit 26 weeks yesterday, so it's my last week of my second trimester, which is literally crazy. <laughs> but I thought it would be fun for today's video to do a what I eat in a day, but pregnant edition. If you guys saw, I posted one of these six months ago maybe of what I eat in a week, but my diet has definitely changed a lot being pregnant. I eat a lot more. I also was pescatarian prior to be pregnant. I'm now incorporating a little bit of meat, mostly just chicken, I would say, but just trying to incorporate some meat for the health of my baby. Um, and right now with being at the end of my second trimester, I'm definitely a lot more hungry and eating a lot more. I probably eat something every hour or so, but I eat small amounts each time so I thought it would be fun to walk you through everything that I eat in a day um, and maybe give you some inspiration or ideas if you're also pregnant or just curious about what your diet is like when you're pregnant. Okay so to walk you through everything that I typically eat for breakfast I have been in a big yogurt kick for a while but for some reason what I used to eat which was more of just like I think it was the cookies and cream Chobani zero sugar um, Greek yogurt and then I put like a bunch of toppings in it but that yogurt just doesn't taste that great to me but the Chobani flip which definitely is not zero grams of sugar um, where it's like the coconut with almond chips and dark chocolate that has been my go-to for a couple of months now I kind of go through phases of what I'm loving at the moment so I've been doing one of those with a piece of Dave's bread with almond butter. If you guys have ever had the RX butter, almond butter, it is beyond this world. It is so good. I'm all out of it right now, but I am using the RX peanut butter, which is a close second, but their RX almond butter is definitely superior. So check that out if you like almond butter. It is really good. Um, so I'll usually do those two things for kind of like my first breakfast. Um, and then for a drink, I did not drink coffee my entire first trimester. I love coffee, but I just, the smell of it made me want to throw up. I couldn't even like smell my husband making it. So I definitely was not going to eat or drink that myself. And then around Christmas time, right after Christmas actually, I tried my first coffee. It was an iced vanilla latte from Dunkin' Donuts and it kept me up for two days straight. So. I have not been doing full caffeine, but I have been doing either half-calf coffee with some milk and making a latte, or I've been into lately chai tea. Um, I'll get that like chai tea skinny latte mix with milk, and then I'll stick a scoop of chocolate protein in it, and I'll stir that up, get some extra protein, and get a little caffeine kick. So that's what I'm gonna be making now for breakfast. <laughs>
Okay, and then if you watched my How to Survive Your First Trimester video, you heard me talk about B6. This is my B6. I take one in the morning, one in the afternoon, and one before bed. So I'm also just going to be taking that with my breakfast. You don't have to take it with food. It's just helps me remember to take it. Okay, it is now 12.45 and I'm getting hungry again. I'm gonna have some magic spoon. I don't eat this all the time. I, I kind of go through phases. I feel like the food, especially while pregnant, but I've been trying to boost my protein intake more now that I've been feeling better and make sure that I'm just getting more nutrients and protein. So this is obviously an easy way to get protein added to your diet. It has 13 grams of protein per cup. So I'm just gonna have a little bit of this and then we'll probably eat lunch in the next like hour or so. And just to give you a reference, the almond butter toast and yogurt and tea with protein powder that I had for breakfast, I had that around night. So that kept me full for almost four hours. I didn't eat it all at once, I kind of nibbled on it throughout the last bit of time, but just to give you an idea, that lasted me four hours and now I'm gonna have some cereal. Okay, it's now three o'clock, so later than I predicted I would eat, but I kind of arrange when I eat based on when I take a break from work. So when I get caught up with things, it just extends my eating to later, or, you know, if I'm not as busy, maybe eat a little more frequently. But nevertheless, it's three, I'm hungry for lunch today. Um, so, and I have some leftovers. We were in Vermont, or I was in Vermont last week for my baby shower, and I did not have any groceries, so I picked up groceries last night, but just did a really quick, easy dinner. We did some tortellini with meatballs and garlic bread. I have just a little bit remaining of that. Um, not a full bowl by any means, but just a little bit. And then two meatballs, so I'm gonna have that to start, and then I'm really feeling like goldfish. I don't know why, the last like two months, all I want is the extra shred of goldfish. It's just so good to me. For a long time in pregnancy, I just wanted cheese and triscuits, which is a really good snack. I still love that snack, and that's more nutritious than goldfish, but it just tastes really yummy. So I'm gonna do that and have a little bit of goldfish on the side and see how that holds me over and if I need some more protein or anything maybe have like a lunch part two but given it's three I don't know I'll probably eat again around five just guessing because we don't eat dinner until like eight o'clock here so I'm sure I'll have another part two around five we'll see what I feel like but that's what I'm gonna have for now and I also just took another v6 I didn't film it but just took v6 so I'm gonna make lunch now Okay, it is now 10 to 7. I did go back around 4.30 and have a little bit more goldfish. So I didn't show that part, but I did have a little more goldfish. It's now 10 to 7 and I am hungry, but we're not gonna make dinner quite yet. I usually wait until my husband heads home from work and then I will start dinner so that it's ready when he gets here. So I'm just gonna have an apple and some peanut butter.
Okay, it is now 8.30 and we are just having our dinner. I made tacos. This is probably like a weekly meal that we have on our menu. I just did mine with black beans and then my husband did it with turkey. But this is going to be the last meal of the day. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, definitely give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment and hit that subscribe button and I'll see you in the next one.